Hi guys, so the Moorish Idol, impossible to keep or just misunderstood? Personally, I'd say that the truth lies somewhere in between, so let's get into it. The Idol has long been considered one of the hardest fish to keep, with very few success stories to be had. One of those best left in the ocean type fish. I once read an article from Tropical Fish magazine where the otter had been keeping up with the success or of what I believe a couple of hundred idols kept in captivity, with not a single specimen living longer than a year or so. That sounds truly disheartening, doesn't it? It's my firm belief that this low success rate is down to two factors. Choosing the wrong specimen and improper husbandry. Idols doesn't seem to handle being passed through the supply chain very well often arriving at the LFS in very poor condition. My view is that this is mainly down to two things, feeding and stress. Idols burn through food like there is no tomorrow and doesn't handle being restricted on feeding very well. If you know how the supply chain works, food is generally withheld for long periods of time to avoid the fish defecating in the bag, which then fouls the water and can cause issues with ammonia buildup. This practice, although necessary in many cases, can unfortunately lead to permanent damage on the internal workings of the idol. Combine this with the stress of being bagged, shipped and bagged again, and it's potentially a recipe for disaster. The second issue is when the aquarist brings it home and places it into a tank that doesn't match its needs. Put any super healthy idol in a small tank filled with rocks, low flow, feed it once a day and watch it wither away and die. And oh yeah, we all know that even if it doesn't just up and die on you, um, it will destroy every single coral since they can't be kept in, kept in reef tanks, right? This all sounds like a freaking horrible idea. Best not to even consider an idol, right? Well, hold on, I'm not quite done yet. We are getting to the good part. Here is where picking out the right specimen is key for success. It shouldn't have a sunken belly, protruding spine or any pinching above the eyes. A healthy idol is a curious fish that should be swimming around the tank, shaking stuff out for any tasty morsels. It's not the end of the world if it happens to be a bit skinny, but it should be eating regularly. If not, I would pass on that particular fish and uh, wait for a better one to show up. To give you the best chance of success, the tank should be very similar to what an Achilles tank needs. A very established tank with lots of swimming space, high turbulent flow and excellent water quality. The rocks should have lots of sponges, algae and stuff like that for the idol to munch on as it's getting established, because the stress of moving can make them stop eating prepared foods for a while. On the subject of food, remember that I said that they burn through food. I feed my tank four to six times a day and my guy, aptly named Fat Frank by my wife, could probably eat twice that if I let him. They are grazers and are designed to have a basic constant food supply. Feeding frequency is key. In terms of what I feed, one of the staples are algae flakes and pellets fed with an auto feeder. The tank also gets a feeding of frozen every evening, typically mysis and enriched brine shrimp, as well as a daily addition of fresh algae on a clip. A couple of times a week I also feed angel formula, as it contains sponges, which is a critical part of their diet. Keep in mind that this level of feeding will produce a lot of nutrients, so make sure that you have the capacity to handle that uh, amount of load. As for keeping them in a reef tank, you can watch my previous video on the topic of keeping non-reef safe fish with corals, but a quick summary is that provided that they are well fed, they generally don't do much damage in a reef. In closing, I would say that the Moorish Idol isn't for everyone, but if you are prepared to accommodate their specific needs, it can be a great addition to the right reef tank. They have so much personality and brings a level of grace to the tank that is hard to come by. If you think I missed anything or have any questions, post them below. My aim is to reply to every comment. If you want more frequent updates from me, I post almost daily on Instagram at Viking Reefing, link in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give this video a like and perhaps even a subscribe. Next video will probably be a walkthrough of my tank and equipment. If you have any other ideas, uh, feel free to share. Have a good one.